99.7. How you doing, sweetie? Very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm fab, I'm fab, I'm fab. Uh, this is your first time on Joy? Yes, my first time. How? How? Why is it your first time on Joy? Why? That's because it's my first time. This is my second time in Ghana. This is your second time in Ghana? Yes. What have you been waiting for? Life na jete ba jete. Don't they rush life? Oh. Yeah, you, you shouldn't be in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, welcome home. Thank you. You know, Ghana is home to every Nigerian. Actually, you know, we are family. Actually. You know, I keep telling people we should just unite the entire West African bloc. Yes, we you understand? should. The French people in between us should just agree to go after us. Yeah. Then we come together. We should consider that. Yeah, man. I you know I have a Ghanaian in me. You know? you know, I have a Nigerian in me. Yeah, man. You can call me Ulua Shew or Ulua something. Ulua Shew. Or, or something. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> My name is Oyima. Yo, your name is Oyima. Yeah. So, O and O, we can marry. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Where will you put it, Kechiku? Um, <laughs> uh, we'll give it to Philip or something like that. <laughs> uh, but welcome, welcome home. Welcome home. Thank so, you. So, what brings you to Ghana? So, uh, my show is. October 16th, mm -hmm. so um, I just came around to like lay the ground, preparations here and there, you know. To lay the foundation? Yes. Uh, did you bring some blocks, sand, Actually, cement? blocks, cement, everything. Mm, the very good. So you started, the, the construction Actually, is going on? yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tell us a good. bit more about yourself. Who are you? Hmm, who are you? Mm -hmm. Just remind me, let me... You know all those Nigerians. Who are you? Do you think you are? Yeah. Okay. Who do you think you are? <laughs> is that is that the context? No, not that context. <laughs> not that context at all. Okay. okay so my name is Anita Alairi Afoko Gene Asoha. Wow. I'm from Delta State, Nigeria. I'm married to the most handsome man in the world. The devil is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I got my eyes on you. Yeah, 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 I can see you too. Okay, <laughs> and um, I'm an entertainer. I mm -hmm. do comedy, yeah. stand up comedy. Um, you know, now we have the online comedy too, yes. so I do both. And um, I'm an actor, an influencer, brand ambassador. So I do basically everything in entertainment. You're like you busy. said, I make the word laugh. So. You are busy. Yes, and I'm a mom and a wife. Wow. You get time for the family. How many kids do you have? Three. Wow. Nice. <laughs> nice. Do you get time for the family? Yes, it's time for everything. Now it's work time. So um, the whole of July, I was back home because it was early day. So it was summer. So it was time for the family. Now it's time to work. So I just balance everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did you find yourself in comedy? Because, I mean, you're that beautiful. Question. You could, you're beautiful. You, I can tell you're smart. You could do anything. So why yes. comedy? So before comedy... While I was in school, I used to dance professionally. Oh, wow. I used to dance like... I would love to watch you dance. Yes. You know, and then that was when I was in school. So I graduated. Even back in school, I used to do some MC here and there, mm -hmm. make people laugh. Because I'm from Worry, and average Wafarian is funny. Mm -hmm. The people would just come to my room just to hear me talk and laugh, you know. So 2018, social media started. Yeah. And I just started making videos. Just talking, pigeon English, making videos. And that was it. Boom. Just like that? Yeah. I didn't dance anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then after school, I got married, started having kids. It was just the trendy, social media was trendy, video, yeah. short videos, funny videos. I said, make a try them now. I didn't see people where they do them. They're not funny, reach me. Mm -hmm. Let me give it a try. And I did. And I didn't even know it was going to happen so quickly. And then I'm here in Joy Studio. Wow, <laughs> very very interesting. So, what, what, which which was like your first commercial gig in comedy? First commercial gig in comedy. Yeah. Stand up comedy. Yeah, stand up comedy. Okay, it was Akporo versus Akporo. Ah. Do you know Akporo the comedian? Akporo is my friend. I, yes. I mean, I have his number. We we we've been yes. chatting. So I heard he was coming to Abu Abuja. I yeah. live in Abuja. Yeah. So I heard he was coming to Abuja, and I'm like, <gasps> I reached out to him. Hey, boys, can you please <laughs> give me five minutes? And he goes, Are you a stand up comedian? I said. I'm a comedian and I'm working on myself, but I think I'll kill it. Mm -hmm. You know, and it goes, okay. And I did it five minutes. And, and I scored myself in a scale of one to ten, four over ten. Oh. And that was it for me. That was the beginning. 2018, yeah. And what happened after that? 
take us through the journey. We want to know how so you got here. Versus Akboro. I did, um, oh my gosh, is it MC Shakara? Yeah, I know MC Shakara too. Then from there, AY took me to London. Oh, nice. Yes, for AY Live. AY Live, yeah. And um, there's also this this show, it's, it's comedy sh and music, but um, the headliner is not a comedian. So okay. it's like a, it's the head of um, NFA. Yeah. M football in Nigeria. Football in Nigeria, so yeah. It's called Amaju. So there's something called... Um, Worry Again. Yes, so I know Worry Again. I performed the Worry Again, um, Funny Born, Osh Baby. You know, I can't even count it. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yes. Very interesting. Bobby Man on Fire, Worry. So it was from Akbar for Sakura in 2018 till. So I can't even count how many um, comedy shows I performed. That you, you performed on. And it, it's been, has it been financially rewarding? Have you made a lot of money from comedy? Online comedy, yes. Stand-up comedy, no. But um, I started doing my shows. So from shows, money did these shows. Uh -huh. But you know, for stand-up comedy, you're supporting. This is how I work now. I beg, oh, for me. Yeah. When I do for you. You, you also do for me, yeah. You know, exactly. so it's I beg, I beg. I beg, I beg. Now we tell you to do the work. Exactly. So for stand-up comedy, there's no money. Uh, mm -hmm. Just supporting ourselves. Yeah. But if it's red carpet, host, MC, weddings, online comedy, from there you get gigs to promote brands and stuff, yes. That's where the real money comes from. Yes. Uh, so then you look like because you look a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. I bet my airport they listen to me, but they never made enough to say I don't make them. I've not made it to don't listen to him. I need help. Yeah, but even as you said, you're wearing go a golden you've got gold in your dress, gold dots in it's your fake gold, it's not gold gold. Uh, how do we know? You're RWP. You. How do we know it's fake? Even your glasses got gold all around it and it's stuff like that. She you see, that's what we are talking about. <laughs> I can't remember the one I wore. That's what we are no talking one. about. <laughs> you know, that's money. Gucci or Chanel, you man. You can make their visit. They don't know about my table. No man, I need their money. My ticket sold. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> so your show is on the 16th of October. Yeah. Yeah, that's like um, that's like two weeks after my birthday. My birthday is on the seventh of October. I'm 29th of October. Oh dear! No wonder you are mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's an October thing. <laughs> Cause you know, w uh, let me tell you the interesting fact. We got another the queen of GH comedy. Her name is Jacinta. Yeah. She's on the sixth of October. She's October to second. Yeah, sixth right? October. We, yeah. we there's a problem. And then we've got one of our finest comedians as well, Funny Face. Funny Face is actually on the 1st of October. There is a problem with October. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is a problem with October. I won't be surprised. Baxter, Mao, Bovi, Akboro, one of them is also in October. I won't be surprised. Okay, um, Bovi is September this month. Close enough. We are family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see? So yeah. there's a problem. No wonder. There's a problem with being Libra and its associate stars. Yeah. There's madness there. So 16th of October, where is it happening? Labadi Beach Hotel. Labadi Beach Hotel, okay. Oh, beautiful. The all, I can't remember the name. Uh, no, no. Uh, how, much, uh, 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 how much will you pay me for the name? How much? Will you, you pay me, me to give me you the your name? account, your Facebook account. I will just... uh, well, uh, Facebook account got to do with the <laughs> money now. <laughs> oh, that's Omanye Hall. That's, yeah, that's the Omanye Hall. Hall. Yeah, that's the Omanye Hall, Labadi Beach Hotel. Yes. It's a beautiful big place. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be lovely. You would love it. And um, so, aside yourself, who else is going to be on the bill? Okay, let me start from the Ghanaian superstar. Uh -huh. I'm Obi Afonsa, the legendary. My bill, MDK, the king of comedy. Lovely. Um, I think uh, Parrot Mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Small Peter yeah. and Parara. Parara is also there. Oh, solid, solid, yes. solid. And from Nigeria, aside to yourself, you bring in anybody else? Of course. Um, Talk to us. Free Mouth, uh -huh. Kodo. Uh -huh. Um. Young Chief, Solid. and then two females I discovered oh, lovely. in June. So okay. I had Corey Pickett unfiltered in June, mm -hmm. 19, um, Abuja. Yeah. And I made a random video online. Guys, if you know anyone, good female stand up comedy, but doesn't have a platform, tag. I know, and I found out about Marvin and Zika Bella. Solid. So they're coming through. Solid. Labadi Beach was always five minutes from my house, so I'm definitely going to be there. Ah, you're a big boy. Come here, you're staying. You're telling me I'm what? I look like a million dollar with you. Uh, easy. My landlord is listening. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 oh my uh, God. Take it easy. My landlord is listening. <laughs> yeah. But that's it, it, it's been fun. I mean, I mean, I, 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 I like it. And... um. I am always excited when we have um, comedians and we have to work with comedy. I'm always excited about that. Comedy is good. But um, generally, how's the comedy terrain in Nigeria like? Is it very competitive, very rewarding, very challenging? 
very challenging, very competitive. And then coming from me, mm -hmm. you know, it's actually a male dominated it is. industry. It is all over the world. And for um, for being a woman, you have to work twice as hard. Yeah. You have to prove yourself that you can do it. You know, so it's. I feel like it's even a lot for me, being a woman and trying to um, make it in the stand-up comedy industry. So it's very competitive, very challenging for me. I'm still trying to find my. You know, so people also say you're doing good. You started in 2018. You've shut down London, Nigeria, going to Ghana. You're doing well. You're funny. You know, but for me, not easy like that to my brother. So it's really very, and then it's lucrative as well. It's lucrative, Definitely. but it's challenging, like you said, and very competitive. How does your husband, you know, I, he's got a beautiful wife. Um, I mean, nice, curvy African woman, um, talented, crazy. A lot of men must, must, must hit on you. How does he manage it? So first of all, my husband is on social media. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I'm grateful for. Well, he would have died, eh? <laughs> <laughs> when you see some comments, uh -huh. hey, <laughs> then the ones on DM. Mm -hmm. mm. What, what, what are some of the things they send you? What do they ask? What do they Can say? Can I say it online? Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Just clean it up. <laughs> should, it cannot clean. be clean though. Nah, that is okay. Let's move forward. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there's some things I can't even digest. And when you just read it, you'll be like, really? You know, they're really mad people. You know, we see mad people on the streets, in the world, we even in church, mm -hmm. mad, normal, abnormal, normal. So that's how it is on social media too. So sometimes I just see some things like now, I'm like, I'm used to it. But it's not like before. Mm -hmm. You know, now I think like a lot of people now know I'm married. Yeah. A lot of not everyone, but every so I just feel like they know that I'm so much in love with my husband. I'm always all about my family, so fa much family oriented and everything. So I don't really get it on like before when I started. Mm -hmm. Jeez, so when I first start, my brother, tell me, tell me, my sister, because this waste not be waste where they used to. Mm -hmm. I know I call it ladder waste. You must use ladder, take climber before you reach up. Are you talking about people my height and below? This was anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot mm -hmm. then when I started doing comedy, but they know now, they understand, you know. So, 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 so they respect it. Yeah, I think, I think, yes, they respect it. Yes. I mean. Uh, Beyond social media, how do you deal with your fans? Those that are crashing on you, those that they see you at shows, they want to come backstage, they want to uh, hold you one. in ways. How do you manage all those? I don't even know how I'm doing it. Sometimes I feel I'm bad at it. Sometimes I feel I suck at it. Sometimes I feel, ah, oh, you try for this one. But that life is something I can never get used to. There's no celebrity that can tell me that they, are, they will ever get used to that life. It's not yeah. possible. When you're sad, they want you to keep up the same energy you give them online. You know, I remember one time I was, my son was sick, very sick. It was an emergency. Wow. You know, and then I came to the pharmacy to get medication, and this lady was making videos, laughing, touching me, and I, I was so tired because I was exhausted. I didn't sleep all through the night. It was running. Yeah. Temperature, temperature. forty. Wow. My, even my mom was like, "You speaking now? Enter conversion. So that when it's really high like that, he has he yeah. will convert. So. Yeah. I was, my head is everywhere, and then she was all over me, and I seized her phone. <laughs> <laughs> you seized her phone? <laughs> I was so upset. She was a scapegoat. I poured everything. Like, you're so insensitive. What the, what the F? Yeah. I, you know. But how was she supposed people? to know you were... I t we're in, first of all, we're in the hospital for crying out loud. Maybe you came to visit someone. What will I be doing there? Maybe you came to visit someone. And then my countenance, I was, and then I'm not always be worried picking. I have yeah. Anita in me. Exactly. I'm always, sometimes I just want to be by myself. Mm -hmm. You know, before I blow, I'll be celebrated. And, and before I blow, yeah. I used to crush on celebrities. Too. Yeah. I used to work at the airport. Okay. Okay. And then Tiwa Savage, Bovi, they pass them. So it's the countenance you will know if you walk up to them. You, you, know, so you know when the vibe is there. They don't care. See my fans? They don't want to, they don't want any other vibe. They want to, hey, they are, hey. Like, okay. Okay, really? It's really tough. But I know it's all love. Mm -hmm. I know it's all love, you know, so. 
Let us talk about your work. How do you... So, what do you do? Do you sit down to write out your jokes? Or yes. you just come on stage yes. and you just feel yes. it and flow? Yes, I write my jokes because I perform for one hour and my jokes are original, so I write them. You have an audience for the next five, ten minutes. Let's perform for them. It doesn't work like that. How does it work? Tell me. That. It doesn't work you like know, that. I'm I, not in that I, space. You know, I don't understand when... I can perform for you. Poets, comedians, musicians. Why? You have to be in that space. I'm uh, not ready for that. You don't perform for short people? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Are you short? <laughs> this is me. <laughs> oh yeah. That, that that's all there is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where is the Ni- the Nigeria in you is where? Oh, uh, it's where it's matters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it doesn't work like that, my mm. guy. How does it work? Tell me. I have to be prepared. I don't just. Okay, so sometimes though, I might go for an event. Yeah. Maybe just as a guest, and then because people know you. You're a stand-up comedian, and then maybe the old walk up to you. Please, can you just have the floor for five minutes? I know they do a move. Mm-hmm. Because it's impromptu. I have to prepare for stand-up. But if you just hold the mic, do hey, yeah, hey, shake, but I will not perform. Yeah. Performance is deliberate. I'm very intentional about it. So, about I, it. Just, so I can do comedy. Yeah. So you need to properly prepare and get into the mood, get into the space, clear your mind. And there are a lot of things for stand-up. Oh. Mm-hmm. It has to be... Light self, flight here. Uh-huh. It's intimate. You have to you have to get in the mo- you know how when you want to you get it, you uh, have to uh, No, I don't get it. Uh, when you want to what? Oh blah blah. Easy now. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. So you have to be in the right mood. Yeah. You have to be in the spirit. Has to, yeah. Oh yeah. So I can do stand up right now. You can just get up and just start performing. Cause you're not the first person telling me. Almost every comedian I've had conversations with, you know. I remember I once asked Bovi the same question that we were backstage. I was at um at a show that I produced and he was performing. And before he came on stage, I said, So can you just be walking down the street randomly and you meet your fans and they ask for five minutes before I said, My brother, are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> Bovi that is Bobby's reply. <laughs> exactly. It's my bros. <laughs> I know him. So my brother, are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like asking a pilot to just get up, fly a plane because you're a pilot. You know, it doesn't. He said, it doesn't work that way. Actually. You need to actually get in the spirit and get in the mood and all that. Sounds good. Sounds very, very good. So when you are not doing comedy, what do you do? Aside family and all that, what else do you do for fun? You you sell fun for people, but what do you yourselves do for fun? Listen to soul music. Soul music. People don't know that about me. What kind of music is soul music? Brandy. Ah. Marvin Gaye, Michael Bolton. Oh. Phil Collins. You like it slow. Hello, I show So music, mm. I just want to be like, leave me alone with my airport. Mm-hmm. And gosh, it takes me to another. Ah. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing comedy family. It's me time. Mm-hmm. And it's good music. Mm-hmm. I see. Good music. Um, d- Does this one work for you? Uh, when are you going back to Nigeria? Uh, I should invite you to my show on Monday evening. If you're still in town, I have a show on the station called the Late Night Express. This show now with you is what we do. This one is Showbiz A to Z. We are here till 6 p.m. But on Monday evening, I have a different kind of show. Um, you know, it's called the Late Night Express. We play your kind of music, this kind of music. Ouch. And at 11 p.m., we have something we call the Love Class. Yeah, where we. Love we, Class? Yeah, Love Class. What does that even mean? It means a Love Class. We discuss love related matters. 
Oh. Yeah. In the week just passed, we spoke about um, uh, director. Is the time okay? We we spoke about you know, uh, um, uh, you know. Oh. Yes, we. Uh, how to you know? Yeah, I would have loved to, but I have, I I I I leave Monday morning. Oh, too. But bad. I'm gonna come back. So. Yeah. When you come back, well, I'll, I'll invite you to the studio for a very special edition of the Late Night Express. We turn off the lights. <laughs> we put on some candles, <gasps> some wine. It's a beautiful show. And just me and you. The devil is a liar. <laughs> 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 Just the two of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, Philip, find a cable. Uh, yeah, find a cable uh, for um, uh, RWP. Yeah, you know, we got to take some pictures and stuff. <laughs> so, aside soul music, what else do you do when you're free? Yeah. What do I do when I'm free? I yeah. don't tell you, say nada. Okay. Uh, uh, it's a soul music. Yeah, we, we've heard that part. So, you love soul music. It takes you what else? Movies. Movies. What kind of mu- movies love do you like? Movies. <laughs> Ah, ah, I love love. I don't look it. I know I don't look it, but I love love. You love romance. Yes. Uh, do you have plans of having any more kids? One more. Eh? Uh, what if God gives you triplets? Hmm. God no try. I know no. He no say. You know what I want. Mm-hmm. God is not an altar of confusion. He will give me what I want. Yeah, what you want will be tri- 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 triplets. <laughs> oh, no, just one more. Later, later. <laughs> Okay, so um, you watch movies, you listen to music. What about physical activity? Do you like to swim or anything of the sort? I really want to. Uh, I really want to learn how to swim. I don't. But but you can cause trouble when you go to the poolside. I wear jeans. I wear jeans or tie wrapper. You wear jeans and tie wrapper. Or oh, tie wrapper. Yeah, so that people don't get confused. Do Do you ever go to the beach or something? Yes. The last time I was beach was Diani in Kenya. Okay. Yeah. What were you wearing at the beach? Garment. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Please. Bikini. Eh? Bikini. Uh, how was the reception? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> oh, you won't remember. <laughs> You won't remember. The gentleman to your right is my brother. His name is Chief Moomin. He's one of Ghana's finest poets. So he's also a creative. He's a panel member on our show. Chief, this is RWP, Real Wari Pekin. Yes, yes, yes. It's one of Ghana, uh, Nigeria's finest female comedy acts. Absolutely. I mean, you should see some of her videos. You should. And she's got a show coming up on the I'm 16th. actually surprised I haven't seen. I mean, for someone who is in tune with popular culture like myself. Well, you, you haven't paid attention. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested. Uh, 16th of October, right? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, I'm, I mean, comedy, comedy in Nigeria is a big, it's a, Nigeria is a big market for comedy. Some of the biggest, greatest hilarious comedians have come from the continent in ghana we say that there's something just about nigeria that in itself is funny <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like you guys don't make an extra effort to even be funny you know even the even the language it, itself the way you speak pigeon pidge, yeah. it's no wonder you know nigerian comedians have been very successful in ghana we've been also trying in the past couple of years we've seen some very good uh, talented guys who are holding the fort but they are mad mad respect to the nigerian comedians i mean as you know me i i respect the nigerian creative industry i mean i think that that's one of the a sectors in Nigeria that is working and that is one of in fact the sector in Nigeria that is holding the country together you know the creatives you know yeah. the yeah. comedians the musicians the actors the writers you know everything in Nigeria may be crazy but when it comes to the arts oh my goodness they they have they have shown us the way and uh, I think that Nigeria owes a huge debt of gratitude you know especially also to their you know to their comedians you know in 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 the midst of such difficulties you know everyone's struggling to survive the humor that they provide i mean we underestimate it is it helps you know demystify douse the ethnic tensions and keeps the country somewhat you know held together yeah. regardless of all the differences so mad, yeah. ap- mad respect to you yeah. to, to, to nigerian comedians for the wonderful work they are doing solid solid it looks like we have a full house now the rest of my panel members have joined <laughs> to your immediate left is uncle kennedy he is our father here on the show he's um one of ghana's finest oldest and longest running um, djs and artists managers and journalists in the space he's got two shows right on joy called jazz on joy and ken's music mix on thursday evening jazz on joy is on sundays and he really is the best when it comes to the business we all look up to him and of course you're right i'm sure you've met um sadiq already no yeah yes. oh, you, you, 
<laughs> you, you met Sadiq. You can't question me that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you met Sadiq already. <laughs> you, you fired my company for his. <laughs> for your show. <laughs> you went? Oh, Nasso. Yeah, yeah, Nasso. They fired my company for your company. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> She's asking, is this George? Yes, this is George. <laughs> This was the background information. We're, no, we're don't curious. worry. We'll, 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 we'll. <laughs> <laughs> back, background conversation. Background conversation. I bet she didn't know. <laughs> this, this one is a young man. He needs them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> is this supposed to be here? Yes, I think it's supposed to be here. Why? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. You waste the break with our old one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, it's fine. You enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it. Okay. Uh, uh, listeners, the conversation going on in the background is Sadiq says Uncle Ken is a very young man who needs a massage. <laughs> Your worry yeah. between says if she massage Uncle Ken, he'll break into <laughs> 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 okay. Baba Sadiq. <laughs> <laughs> she take him to Nigeria. Hey, <laughs> hey. Uncle Ken, how are you doing? Uh, not too bad, Josh. How's, how's the week? The week? Yeah. So so, so so. <laughs> Uh, Chelsea have sucked the coach who's doing better than yours. When are you sucking yours? What do you mean by doing better? <laughs> oh, but you are hey, man, you. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Man, you wear Oh, he doesn't like Man, you. He man, doesn't, you doesn't want to hear But it's head. just, but man, the people that have been, you know, backward is Chelsea and Man, you now. Oh, uh-huh. I don't okay. know. I don't Thank like, you. Like, man, you is like the old Arsenal. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Liverpool is not Shots doing bad. <laughs> Shots fired. My use like old as now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have no comments. <laughs> I won't say anything again. <laughs> are you as fan? Of course. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are doing um, quite good. Oh yeah. We will console ourselves with the way mm. with, with our inconsistent inconsistency. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it will be. Yes, so um that's RWP. Yes. Um, um Sadiq, that's RWP. Yeah. Yes, um, uh, you should follow her. I mean, she 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 she's pretty talented. That I can yeah, say I sure. catch uh, yeah episodes of uh, on uh, my timeline. Okay, from time to time. Okay, oh. you know, okay. and uh, I've 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 liked her from a distance. From a distance, yeah. You know, yes. So when I heard her on Joy, I said, "Wow." Yeah. She's in town. She is know. in town. She yeah. is in town. She is. She in has town. a show in October. I hear. Yes, it's yeah. in October 16th. on the sixteenth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard her say that in yeah. one of the clips yeah. that I saw. Yeah. Great. Very talented lady. And very, uh, very, 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 very. She very. knows what she's about. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Sadiq RWP. Any words? She's about to leave us so that we can get into the rest of our conversation. Well, I mean, what can, what's, what else can we say, except to continue to welcome Africa's comedy queen? Yeah. And the most important, they're looking forward to her own headline show. I think she's about the first stand-up comedian from Nigeria that's having to headline her own show. I think the rest had always come in on different shows. Laughs. Yeah, I think so. None of them had from Benga to whoever. Yeah, there have been conversations. None of them have, yeah, have headlined their have really, own shows. Yeah, none have really So I think it's, just, a, yeah. it's a very bold and daring very, move. Yeah. Um, and so, obviously, and also very much so, so because she's got a massive audience in yeah. Ghana. So really looking forward to um, Real Wari picking Unfiltered. Solid. Um, followed it through from Wari, Lagos, uh, London, and then coming to Ghana. Obviously, this will be a good one. And the good part yep. about it is that we are involved yeah. in terms of the production. So yeah. we're producing it. So really looking forward to that. Mm. Solid. Sorry, um, RWP. Yes, yeah, Uncle Ken. Yeah, yeah. Just before you go to... Uh, <laughs> as as so far, your the conversation... That the three of you were having yeah. coded conversation that the three of you were uh-huh. having uh, uh, you to the going? detriment of myself and Chief. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Some concussive person has ah. given me an idea okay. Okay. as to what it is. Quiet. Quiet. Yes, I go get quiet. The concussive person says, Sadiq Bugadu. Oh, no, no, not at all. Oh, okay. Not at all. 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 Oh, not at all, Uncle Ken. No, it's not like that. Not the, two, not the two million dollar deal. Right? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no the, my show. Yeah. And that was, that's no, 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 not at all, not at all, not at all. That was a little at all. We are still involved. We are still involved. Out of is family. Yeah, Sadiq yeah, yeah. is family. So it's one family. There's no Buga at all. Ah, yeah. Uncle Ken, come on. It's family. Sweetie. So. It's on what? What? Why are you surprised? <laughs> <laughs> when you introduced yourself, what did you say? You said GQ. it wasn't George. 
Uh, you didn't hear me. <laughs> but I sent you a message and you said, talk to the producer or something like that. Yeah, that was when I noticed you didn't know it was me. So I just said, oh, let's play along. <laughs> 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 I just thought, oh, this is going to be fun. We Let's play along. <laughs> yeah. oh I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. But it's good. L- listen, we wish you very the very best. We know it's going to be a great show. You've got one of the greatest hands in the business handling it for you. And um, the good thing about um, the new crop of event planners we have in Ghana is that we don't compete. We complement and help each other. We met companies that competed, but we don't. So once it's Sadiq's show, he knows Image Bureau is on board. He knows other event planning companies are all on board. So it's one family. If it were me, Sadiq would also be there and would always work together. So not oh, to worry nice. at all. You're still in safe hands. That's a hands. good place to clap, yeah. right? Uh, like yeah. We're yeah. still in safe hands. Well, some person was partly right. <laughs> 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 I mean, if you look at the story of our uh, involvement, even yesterday she was asking me about it. I was yeah. like, I mean, it probably was fit. You know, yeah. so crazy. Things, yeah. you, know, you go answer me that. You oh, answer that. Yeah. I answered him already. You haven't. <laughs> but that's great. That's great, George. That's yeah. great. Yes. You know, so um, the event is gonna be the <coughs> Real Worry Picking Live in Ghana. It's gonna happen on the 16th of October at the Labadi Beach Hotel, Omanye Hall, um, from 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. What time are we starting? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. All right, we've got to be there. And um, you know, Labadi Beach Hotel is a beautiful place to go mm. watch a show. Uncle Ken, this one you have to be oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be there. Yeah. Well, okay, this one you have to come. Oh, this yeah. one I will. We'll get a proper. So you get him when they come at. I will. I will. <laughs> this one I will. Now it looks like one of those people who could have bought your tickets on off Tinder. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. So by the you're a digital person. Or, or you're still. Uh, uh, you're still so analyzing. sometimes I sell my tickets on Tinder, you know, so. Uh, I don't know. I would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweetie. So thank you very much for passing through. George. I mean, we are grateful to have you here. It's an honor to have you in our studios. It's been a great, great, great conversation. And we are looking forward to an even greater, greater show. Any final words to your fans out there? <laughs> yeah. She's shocked. She's shocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is you. Yeah, I know. Mm. I know. But thank God he didn't tell me at first. <laughs> 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 no, it's good, it's good, it's good. Area! Area! I'm not the radio. What is up? <laughs> you know the story normally. I uh, don't come on Atano, and the reception was mind blowing. Thank you very much for having me, guys. And I'm looking forward to have intimate moments with you guys. Sem- come September. Oh my gosh. Uh, come October, October 16th. <laughs> I'm ready for you. So get your tickets. And one thing we want know why they always talk. Everything I jete by jete. Sharp. Now we first buy motor, buy old mother. <laughs> <laughs> New arrival must want to see us tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I understand. Yeah. So be good and uh, take care. Thank you for I having agreed. me. So.